Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to We All Suck at StarCraft 2. My name is Killjoy and we're bringing you another game in this uh, bleh, sucky StarCraft 2 series. Down here in the bottom, Mr. Fruity Sammer playing Protoss and myself at the north here playing Terran as usual. Uh, I think this is a couple games we played at the end of the night uh, where it's just a couple of 1v1s. This is the first of these two games. Fairly short match, but a fairly fun one. Quite a lot of aggro, a lot of stuff to watch. Um, you're going to see me go for a fairly standard thing that I like to do. Got a double barracks opening. I'm expecting for you to go Oracle. Like, I don't trust him. I was like, hmm, probably going to go Oracle in this match, which isn't the case. And you're going to see him go for a fairly aggressive build, actually. Uh, going for many, many gateways and uh, looking to pressure me very early on. So let's just speed this up because in the next couple of minutes we don't see a huge amount of things. You're just going to see he scouted me. He can see that I've just got a command center, the gas. I'm building a barracks. Now I'm building a double barracks, which he doesn't see until later on. And I like to go for this double barracks opening purely on the basis that if anyone does try to cheese me, I can usually get enough dudes out high behind the supply depots fairly quickly. And it, it, while I'm doing that, I can then start to get either if I need to do an expansion or I can then start to get a factory or a uh, starport. During this time though, however, he did put down a pylon which I never knew was there, so he's going to be using this as a very aggressive pylon to attack me with. Um, you have a double gas there, you're going to see he's got three gateways, or well, now he's just got three gateways, working on getting a warp gate to warp dudes in, and you'll see as well he never actually expands in this game, he does get a fairly big amount of gateways. I think it's six by the end of it. Um, but you can see he's got way more probes than I have. Well not way more, but he has more probes than I have this guy's building Twilight Council, which he's gonna be using to get a Dark Shrine, which will come into play later on as well. And you're gonna see that once these all finish up Send the Marine out. He got killed. Don't know if I actually saw anything. Maybe the fact that he had stalkers, which is why I start to pump out a couple of Marauders. This is a bit slow. But there we go. Now we're getting one. Oh no. No, using for other things, probably Marines. There we go. Now the Marauders coming out. Let's slow this down a little bit. Now I'm getting Stim. Just about to crack out a tank. Building an expansion. I'm still this entire time expecting some kind of airplay. I know that he likes using Void Rays. I know that he likes the Oracles. So for him to do this quite aggressive push, and my scouting as well, not to. Not to have scouted this properly, I got quite lucky, because by sending that marine down here, all it saw was he's got stalkers and a few stalkers and a zealot. Assuming I was looking at the screen, I have no idea. I've not been into his base. I don't know what he's getting. He's getting all these gateways. He's getting a dark shrine. He's got this, and here we go. Now the warps in. Just before we carry on, my expansion's just about to finish up. I've got one marauder, a bunch of marines. A tank has just popped out. So I'm in a fairly defendable position, so I'm quite happy. Don't expect this attack though. Not that it's a huge amount of dudes, but we are seeing the rest of this stuff walk across the map. I target fire, this guy target fires the zealot, which ends up getting the tank to kill off most of my guys. And there we go, dead stalker. And then these guys turn up, which I wasn't expecting. So I'm trying to turn this into a command center, but I have to cancel it because, well, they're a bit weedy. I do manage to kill off a couple of stalkers though, which is nice. It's a nice amount of marauders. I'm like, oh dear, this is bad. So, a couple of marines pop out, unfortunately on the wrong side of the supply depot. I'm like, ah, keep it closed. And then we see me kill off these guys. Oh, the marines die. Very nearly kills this though. That's probably from partly the tank fire. But no, very nearly kills this. I'm like, I need a dude right now. Come and repair this supply depot. Another tank pops out, and there we go. Here comes the DT. You know, these things hit for 45 damage without any upgrades. They're pretty bloody powerful. So, come on. And you see, I'm repairing this. <clears throat> I do try to go and put the command center back down in my natural, but I think the tank fires, and I realize there's still dudes there, so I kind of waver. I'm like, Ooh. But I'm like, oh, it's only a couple of zealots. And there's that sound. I, at this point, don't have a scan, so this is where it starts to get a bit funky. I have to try and try to repair this. I do bring a dude down now to try and put down a turret, because I'm like, I need, I need a turret right now. Now, here's the, here's the mistake that I think Fruity makes, right? He sends the DT into my base. He, do, he has another DT here. 
and I don't know what this DT actually does during this point, but he goes to these tanks, he goes to destroy the tanks, which is totally fine because it means that any other army sends up, like, it's hard for the, it's hard for me to shell them, essentially, without having to shell them with. I think what he should do, and he is to send one of his dudes over here, even though the turrets are here, to go into this mineral line and gut it, but that's not what happens. First DT starts killing up the dudes after down sees the tank. There's the other one, it just stood there, it just stood there the entire time! Oh, so lucky guys. So kill the first one. Put this guy down. I accidentally put this in the wrong place. And... <laughs> I didn't realise that, I didn't realise that he sent the second one in into the scan. Whoops. But I did build this in the wrong place. As you can see, it's one. it should be there. Because you, you can actually get a dude for it, but... Anyway, so I put that down. Now I'm building a turret because I'm worried about more DT harass. Which does come, he does send it. Uh, this, however, now will end up flying across the map to over here because I'm like, I can't land it here, it's too dangerous. Ah, here we go, yeah. So he gets he gets the third DT in, kills this guy, I'm like, oh great. This tank pretty much almost dies. Or does die, I think. Yeah, but I managed to kill that off. SCB comes down, plunks down another thing here. Another supply depot, sorry. Uh, and you can see that now it's fully blocked off again, but now I've got an alright army. I've now got Stim. He's got a couple of stalkers here. He's now bringing in a bunch of zealots. I'm curious, did, does he get blink at all? No. I think what he could do here, actually, is get blink. Because if he'd gone up this ramp and got some sight, he could blink stalkers up here. It would be especially useful for him, but, you know, at this point now, I, I do end up getting a medevac out. These guys are now plus one, plus one, or just about to be plus one, plus one. This is now flying over there. I haven't finished this, like, there's no SCVs building this stuff. Still, it's almost done, but they keep getting killed off. And now I'm seizing up the tanks again. I do end up getting an armory in a minute to be able to give them upgrades. But this entire time, you know, he's not expanded. He's mining out his base. He's putting on a couple more gateways. You know, he's hell aggressive. He's now getting Zealot Charge, which is interesting, and Resonating Glaive. But I don't think he ever gets any Adepts. He should really have gone for Blink, I think. Doesn't get a Forge at all, either. He's kind of got a lot of uh, dudes there mining. And this is, I think, the main final attack. There's a Dark Templar in this one as well. Here he is. Off he goes. Two tanks down now. Gets killed instantly because I don't think he realizes the turret's there. And, you know, like, if he could just get the some like, even if he got the Zealot there and got the Stalkers here and beamed into the base this way, like, that would have been really cool if he just went for Blink. I think that's what he should have done, was contained me like he had and gone for Blink. And at this point, all I should have done, I've gone for a tech lab, so I think I was thinking about Liberator or, or Banshee to just go and harass his base, because at this I realise at this point it's just just a huge army that he's got. So I stim these guys, I think. Yeah, stim stimmed them really late. And there you go, GG. This guy's finally landed, but nothing came of it, so... Fun little game, actually. Like, I kind of... For me, my heart was like, oh, the entire time, because as soon as he broke down, like, some of these supply depots, I was like, oh, crap, like, now I've got no way of protecting it, stuff can get in. Luckily I had this turret here to be able to help if any DCs came up, but like I think my mistake maybe was not repairing things quick enough, obviously building that in the wrong place. Other than that, I'm quite happy with how I played. I managed to hold it pretty well. I think literally all Fruity had to do was get Blink. I think if he got Blink earlier on because if he contained me enough, I would have just turtled up a bit more and then look to go for like some ha air harass. But I think if you got Blink and managed to get some stalkers up here to take out these add-ons, or you know, managed to get Zealot to see up here and sort of Blink up here, then I think he would have been in a really good place. Or look to get maybe some some form of, you know, like a warp gate or something. I mean, obviously it'd be difficult, but anything to let him see vision on the high ground and have Blink stalkers, I think he would have had a much better time. Getting to this point where I started getting medevacs out now, it was just like, well, I can heal my things up, you're just getting shot, and double tank, you know, again, especially against um, stalkers, that's a hell of a lot of damage you can do there, so, there we have it, that was a fun little game to watch, I really enjoyed playing it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, it's definitely a lot more action packed, so, thank you very much for watching, as always, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, if you liked the video, hit like and subscribe, and until next time, see you then.